The darling little town of Yellowstone is a destination all on its own. It has beautiful little ice cream shops that make fresh huckleberry creams and boutiques that line the roads in the morning sun. But the real draw, obviously, is Yellowstone National Park. If you're going, I would suggest taking Yellowstone vacation tours. Their guides are amazing. They get you in the park fast, and they get you seeing the most out of it. If you drove all the roads in Yellowstone, you'd only see 1% of the entire park. So there's lots to see. You'll never see it all. But what you will see is just mind-blowing. Amazing melting pots where life starts on Earth, colors that really redefine what you think about nature. And their guides, they're the best. This is Gypsy. He knows everything about the park and then some, and knows exactly how to run a tour so that it's never boring and always exciting. You get to see pretty much all the highlights. Amazing hotels like the Old Faithful Inn, which is the largest wood log structure in the world. And when you walk inside of it, there's no doubt to why this place is very, very special. Obviously, people come here to see Old Faithful. It's amazing. It's one of the largest geysers in the world, and the fact that they can time it down to the minute when it explodes is something very special. On a bright summer day like this, there's nothing better. But maybe the best is the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. This place is just phenomenal. The colors here will make your mind turn inside out and the waterfall cutting through the Glacier Valley is just magical, making Yellowstone a place not to miss.